Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to show you today the BML Reads Volume 1 Library, which is the latest addition to our BML British Modular Library range. Um, we have in here uh, clarinets at two and solo, and then oboes at two and solo. So you have six players in total. And we've um, Volume 1 is the kind of essential articulations. It's basically your a very, very agile legato. We spent a long time working on this. Um, which can play beautifully lyrical stuff, but also play very, very fast. And then we've got our core palette, which is our longs and our staccatos. And with this, um, we've tried to put together a really affordable library that has all of the instruments in it um, and that can play probably 90% of, of what you would expect to be able to play with these instruments. Though volume two has um, the extended articulations like your trills and uh, marcatos and things like that. But the, you can really pretty much cover everything you need to cover with this one. So we've tried to get as much value into this as possible. So I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough. We'll start with the clarinets at two, um, the staccato patch, and we're going to listen to the outriggers first. So they sound like this. And then I'll give you a quick blast through all of the different mics. So these are the close mics. So you can, uh, as usual with the advanced controls, you can pan the close mics, um, collapse the stereo image, pan them wherever you want in the stereo field. Um, we've got the tree mics, the Decca tree. And then we've got our ambient mics, the wettest of all of the mic selections. And then you can obviously mix these to taste and then get exactly the right kind of combination of sounds that you want to get. So they're really great sound, very, very um, dynamic sound there. And if we go, um, we'll stick to the outriggers again. We'll switch back to the longs. Usual control of dynamics via the mod wheel. Um, so we've got, uh, they sound like this. And then up high, nice and quiet. And then if we go, we won't play through it, all the mics on every single patch, but if we listen to the close mics on their own, So it's a really, really beautiful lyrical sound. Um, let's go in and have a look at the legato. So we'll start again with our outriggers. And so legato sounds like this. So you can hear you've got a very agile sound there, the two clarinets together. Um, I'm going to go through, let's go through all of the different sections quickly with the legato so you can compare those. So our clarinet soloist sounds like this. And then we listen to the close mic'd version. And then we've got our oboes at two. Again, we'll stick with the legato. We'll go for the outriggers first off again.
and then again listening to our close mics here. And then if we go for our soloist and we have a listen to the outriggers first of all, keep trying to keep uh, everything as, as similar as possible. Sounds like this. And then if we listen to the close mics, they sound like this. We'll go back to non -vibber. And then bring in the vibrato. And then obviously, um, if we, let's go for a sweet, quiet sound. So beautiful sound there. And then uh, if we go back to the solo clarinet, let's have a listen to some of the other articulations in here. So we'll go for the, um, for the staccatos first. That's a fabulous sound. We go for our longs. So it's still lovely and agile, even though it's just the straightforward longs patch. Um, and then if we go into our oboes, so let's have a quick listen. Um, we'll go for, let's just set up a little mixture of mics. So we'll go for the shorts first here, and they sound like this. And then we have a listen to our longs. Um, leave the same mics up. And then if we have a look at the solo oboe, whoops, and again, oh, we'll stop with the tree actually. And listen to the staccato. And then let's quickly have a look at some other mic selections. And then again have a quick listen to the longs. Sounds like this. So that's the basic um overview of, of uh, the contents of the library. Essentially it's um, when you've got when you add in the your kind of very very sweet lyrical long and staccatos and then you've got your legato which is ex extremely agile very very agile legatos for every single section for the um, both the etudes and the solos. You've got a very wide range of palette of sounds there that you can pick from for um, orchestration and for writing with these reeds. Beautiful sound that these players make. Very, very excited and proud to be able to present this to you. Um, it's the newest selection from our BML range, Reads Volume 1. Hope you're going to enjoy writing with it, and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.